Hey guys, I want to talk today about why it's so important as a prepper to get things from yard sales and uh, garage sales, flea markets, etc. And to illustrate my example, we're going to show some Coleman lanterns because, well, we're just going to do it. You'll, you'll see as we go along. Now, this one here, I bought on the right. I bought on my own, probably from like a Walmart or a Dick's, probably... 10 years ago, so maybe 2005 or so. Maybe a little earlier, but it's definitely post two, between 2001 and 2005. Make a long story short. And these two are some recent uh, garage sale pickups. Now, the one on the left here is marked, um, I think, 1982 or 84. And this one here in the middle is marked 1989. So, this is why stuff is so important to buy, especially things where quality has uh, deteriorated over the years. Now, okay, as, as a prepper, we understand the value of light, the ability to light your home, to light your property, to have extra forms of light that are not based on electricity, that aren't based on the grid. We get that. So, now, it's very easy as a prepper to go to Walmart and pick up three of these guys on the right here. And they'll work good, and they won't give you any problems, and they'll probably be fine for you. But there's a problem. They're garbage. And uh, now, it's gonna be tough for me to kind of demonstrate this without, it's a tough thing to demonstrate, because you know, quality is a very tough thing to, to show on camera. So you can hear the bale rattles around top rattles, this bottom piece rattles, pretty much everything on it rattles. No matter how much you tighten the top of it, it rattles. And the metal is noticeably thinner on the tops of these. The metal is noticeably thinner on the bottom. And uh, you know the knob is uh, kind of wiggly a little bit. You know, like you move it and you can, you can just tell it's got a little give to it. And, it just doesn't seem to impress me any. No matter how much you tighten it down, there's, there's a ton of wiggles to this thing. You know, the glass wiggles, the bale wiggles, top wiggles, everything wiggles. You just, the quality's not there. And okay, so you go out and you buy two or three of these, you spend the $20 that Walmart wants for them. Okay, they'll work for you. But when it comes down to it, when you look at these older models, they're just so much better. No wiggle. The glass is in there solid. The bale is not wiggly. Yet. Nothing's wiggly. The handle, it's got a little play to it, you know. Or the knob, I mean. It's got a little play to it, but overall, the quality on it is... I mean, here we go. Listen. Okay. Let's actually tighten it before we do this trick. Hopefully you can see. I'm on a frame here, guys. But, okay, that was the older one. Now, let's... I guess that's the best way to quantify quality. And when you're uh, buying these things and you're using them, and say you do have to rely on propane for illumination for a long-term situation, I spent $20 on this one on the right, I spent a combined total of $7 on the two of these. Which would you rather have? Well, for me, <laughs> I'd actually like the oldest one. The oldest one is actually the best of the group. Why? Number one, the bale fits really tight on it. There's clips here and here that hold the globe in place. So the globe is very still, so you don't have to worry about it rattling or anything like that. The bottom metal nice and thick. It's got a little uh, guard around the bottom so you can actually set it down flat. You can't do that with the uh, this one. You can't set it down flat. You have to lay it on the side like that. So if you're out in the woods you're changing propane tanks, you gotta lay that glass down in the mud. Just how it's laying like this. You see that? That's, you know, it's not thinking. So, this old one. Okay, it's got this little guard so I can lay it flat. 
it's nice, you know, it's very helpful. You know, the, uh, it's got an igniter, so I don't need a match. I don't need a, a lighter to get it going. It's a, a nicer little feature. So not only is it quiet, it's built of thicker and better materials, but it's just put together better. It just, uh, everything about it seems better. Now this middle one here, okay, this is made seven, eight years later, but you can definitely see a slight decline in quality. It's not a much, but it's, it's a start. That's how these companies start. It's a little thing and then it goes. It's got the clips in the globe. You know, the metal's about the same up top, but the bale's a little wiggly. Bale's a little wiggly in this model. Has a little play in it. You know, the uh, metal definitely got thinner on the bottom, and you know, they took away the guard, so you can't lay it or set it up uh, upright when you're changing it. You know, and the uh, handle got to be this big, you know, obtrusive, weird looking thing that I don't quite get. And then, you know, you go over here and you got the rattle box. You know, really thin bale. The bale is probably 25% thinner. It doesn't latch into anything. There's no clips in the top that the, the, the glow blocks into. There's no clips on the bottom that the glow blocks into. The bottom piece is wiggly. Everything's wiggly on this. You can't stand it up. Knobs, not the best. I mean, it's not even Mark Coleman. There's nothing on it Mark Coleman at all. In fact, all there is is just a little inspection sticker here on the bottom. Which is probably inspected by some guy named Chan. But yeah, there you go. I just wanted to talk about that because, you know, when you're out and about buying things like a lantern, it's very tempting just to go to Walmart, buy three of these, Put them in your garage, put them in your basement, lock them away, and never think about it again. And that's fine, because they, they may last you forever. But in the end, do a little research with these things. Because if you can get them better, if the older ones were just made better, go out and get the older ones. You're going to get them cheaper, they're going to be made better, they're going to last you longer. And not just with lanterns, but with everything. When you're looking at things, whether it's axes, saws, um, Camping gear, tents, sleeping bags, you name it. You know, tents are another great example. So you're looking for a tent for your bug out bag. Modern tents, okay, they're very fancy. They're made very well. But they're typically made of really thin nylon, you know. I know a guy who, you know, was doing some uh, wildlife research and lived out of a tent. And he said, you know, a tent on average would only last him about 60 days before the sun broke it, the nylon down, and eventually it would weaken and they would kind of give out on him. So every summer, you know, when he would do his research, you know, he'd be in the, the woods for a while. He said, I always have to make sure I bring two tents because I knew I only get about two months out of it. Whereas on the other hand, the old canvas Boy Scout tents, you know, that we used as kids were easily from 1940s or 1950s. They have a generation, you know, of use in front of them and they're still great. So it's always good and important when you're looking at a piece of gear, evaluate it and say, was this made better? Can I get better value by buying it used? And if so, maybe you should. And, you know, garage sales and flea markets, it's good to put the time in. It's good to look. Look at the quality of old things and see if it's worthwhile. For example, old knives, yes, a lot of old vintage knives are really cool. But at the same time, a lot of old vintage knives, you know, the steels just don't compare to the modern steel and the modern manufacturing we have. So, would I go crazy buying vintage knives? No, not for propping, but I like to buy them just for collectability's sake. But are they better? Mm, you know, that's open to uh, debate. So, I just wanted to point it out. These, these lanterns, you know, I'm putting them away, and I figured I'd drag them inside real quick and just kind of point this out that uh, it is important to, to look at every piece of gear, every purchase you make, and make that individual decision. Is it better to go new? Or is it better to go use? And in some cases, used will be better.